Yes. That's what all. That's what behind the bar is about, man. That's what behind the bar is all about, man. Contrary to popular belief, you might be seeing me talking shit on the microphone, saying I'm a one man band and friends to none. But guess what? Without y'all, without y'all the supporters, there is no behind the bar. There is no main the milk, man. I, that's a fact. I need. Not only do I need y'all, I appreciate y'all. Every single one of y'all, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Y'all could be anywhere in the world, but y'all decide to rock out on a late night on a Wednesday night with your boy Maine the Milkman from behind the bar. Thank you so much. I surely appreciate. It. That's a fact. Moonlight. Shout out to um the, the platform, man. We're finally almost getting the recognition that we deserve, man. You know what? I take that back. We are getting the recognition that we finally deserve. I'm finally seeing other platforms, other content creators finally starting to put respect on my name and, and showing me love and promoting the channel and each one of y'all that show me love and and and, and promote the channel man i want to from me to you i want to say thank you real talk the sad part about this side of youtube is that we only give recognition to the negativity what i mean by that is that when people talk shit about you or us or in general we're quick to go online and make another video we can't wait to make a video on somebody that disrespects us that's what we do that's the mo oh shit such and such said my name or such and such even sometimes you even gotta say their name sometimes you could sub them and they still like oh well he's subbing me i think he's talking about me let me go make a video about them as opposed to how why can't we spread love and make videos about the people who show us love and respect us think about it if you keep showing the people that's hating on you attention make it make sense Show attention to the people that really support you. Those are the people that matter. Them haters don't even matter. They don't matter. That's a fact. Let me drop a bomb to that, God damn it. Shit. The haters don't matter. And that's what's going on right now, even with Hassan's situation. If you notice about Hassan Campbell, he only makes videos about the people who talk bad about him. You will really see him make a video to acknowledging his supporters the people that hold him down the people that support him let me make a video even if it's a 10 minute video acknowledging such and such for supporting me and such and such for holding me down this that and the third he's going to put your name in the title if you disrespect him that's why people ask me all the time yo who you think is winning up the zip with the drip versus Hassan campbell situation and you know what before i even answer that question before i answer that question I, and i'm going to answer it because sometimes some Last week, somebody asked me that question. I was like, I'm winning because it's, they're giving me content. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I got to be completely honest with y'all. First of all, I want to know who is, is the management, who's managing Hassan Campbell. And I mean that by all due respect. Who's managing him? If I had a client, right, that was... A big youtuber like him and i was managing him one of my first advices to him is do not respond to people on the internet that's disrespecting you especially if they don't have the amount of subscribers as you it doesn't make sense you know how Nas said in the verse your arms too short to box with god remember that line from Nas? i don't want to finish the line because i don't remember the words after that exactly i don't want to fuck up the lyrics but pretty much your arms too short to box with god it makes more sense for Zip to continue to get at Hassan when Hassan gets at him. It makes more sense. Zip was live 20 minutes ago, had almost 900 people in this chat. And you know why? You know who helped him get there? Hassan. <laughs> Hassan is a nigga that's, all due respect, a little bit too emotional for the internet. You would think after all these years he'd been on the internet that he probably heard and heard every joke, every die joke, every disrespectful joke, every disrespect thing you could think of. Niggas talk about his mama, his kids, his this, that, and the third. And he continues to go online and take the bait. If I was zip with the drip, I would continue doing what the fuck I'm doing. As soon as Hassan make a video about me, I'm going to make a video about him going hard. It's marketing genius on Zip's part, not so much on Hassan Campbell's part. If I'm going to come on this microphone and talk to y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all and I'm going to give you my truth and my, from an unbiased perspective. Mind you, I have nothing against Hassan Campbell. I have nothing against it with the drip. Me as a content creator, I have to keep the balance straight and call it how I see it and tell you how I feel and bring you, you guys the facts and the receipts. And it is what it is. It is what it is. This nigga Hassan Campbell keep on responding to zip with the drip. Why wouldn't he? 
if any celebrity right now came out behind the bar, nigga, I'm going to be glad. I'm like, oh, shit. And they put my name on the title. Nigga, we lit. Nigga, we lit. Make any celebrity, any big YouTuber, any of them niggas say my name. You know how I got started on YouTube? Let me give y'all a little bit of history lesson. Can I give y'all a history lesson? I'm going to bring y'all back around time. Bring y'all back. Bring y'all back. Really? When I first started YouTube, right, I was on online talking my shit, and there was a content creator. He was way bigger than me named Queens Flip. And I remember I tried to get on the platform, and they said, who the fuck is a behind the bar? Who the fuck is a main the milkman? We don't know you. Get the fuck out my face. This is what they said. Get the fuck out of here. We don't know you. And I remember I made a video basically saying, well, fuck you. I'm going to do this on my own. Kiss my ass. I was in my feelings. I keep it real. And then that nigga, the next day went live. And he, at the time, he had over 100,000 subscribers. And there was like, I think like 800 people in the chat. And he was like, who this nigga named behind the bar saying my name? I said, oh, cha. Right then and there. Right then and there, I knew that the video that I made about him affected him enough for him to say my name in front of his big audience. So in, in a sense, he kind of took the bait. It surprised me because remember, at the time, I didn't, I didn't even have 100 subscribers at the time. And this nigga said my name. And when I made a video responding to him saying my name, I woke up the next morning and I had 5,000 views, my nigga. I said, oh, shit. I said, oh shit, that was all I needed. That's all I needed to give me the confidence to know that maybe I am a, a factor, maybe I am a threat, maybe I can one day build a bar in my, because at the time when I had behind the bar, let me give y'all a fun secret, I was upstairs in my living room and this computer that y'all see right here is a 2017 computer. I, I didn't know what I was doing. There was no StreamYard Zoom at the time. I used to record myself, pre-record myself and pretend like I was talking to a live audience. Let me repeat what I just said for the people that didn't hear me in the back. I used to talk to the audience like y'all was live, like I'm talking to y'all right now, and pretend like I was live. Sometimes I do pre-recorders so I could get the audience engaged, and people used to think I was really talking to them because times where I went live, I would automatically know my core audience who would be in the chat, and I would say, hey, shout out to this person, that person, knowing that it was going to be in the chat. Meanwhile, I was pre-recorded doing it. One of these days, I'm going to upload the video so y'all can see a throwback video of my journey. <laughs> Hey, 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 brush your teeth. Yellow teeth. Hey, hey, okay. Mm. Think I give a fuck about a damn bitch? Yo, 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 what's poppin', everybody? What's good with y'all, man? How y'all doing today, man? Huh? Yo, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me this afternoon, man. Y'all seen I had a couple of technical difficulties at the beginning. Y'all already know what time it is, baby. It's your boy, Main the Milkman, back with another one. You dig? And today, y'all, we got an exclusive today, man. You know what I mean? We got we got to bring we got to bring Ratty to the table, man. Ratty been in a lot of controversy on the show lately, man. We're going to get to the bottom of what's going on with him, man. You know what I mean? Lately, he's been talking real spicy on the mic and talking crazy on, on the show and shit like that. So, we're going to find out today what's, what's been bothering Ratty. But how y'all doing out there, man? You know what I mean? Urban Talks, Father Cholin, Smitty Benzo. Talk to me, man. How y'all doing? Tory Smith, Blue Label Media. What y'all doing out there? What's popping? Everybody Gucci? How I sound out there, man? Am I too loud? Talk to me, man. Am I too loud? Talk to me, man. Do I got turned out the mic a little bit? You know what I mean? I'm trying to make sure the quality is good and all that type of shit. You see, I'm a little fancy and shit like that now. I got my little, my name going over here and shit like that. We fancy, huh? <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to make sure I, I give y'all niggas some good quality and shit. Hassan you know? continues to take the bait. This nigga has no type of management whatsoever. To me, I think he's... He's losing his mind. Fuck it, I said it. God, I, somebody said, I ain't wasn't going to lie. I ain't ball. God I ain't damn ball. it. I ain't shit, I, I told myself I wasn't going to say that shit. And I ain't even take a drink yet. I think he's losing his mind. Zip is out here playing chess. And Hassan is out here playing checkers. Playing checkers. Taking the bait. Every single time. And it's ridiculous to me. It's It's ridiculous. But here's the thing about digital Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. 
even though what they're saying to each other might sound nasty and disgusting and there's something that ain't no coming back, man, from what I witnessed on YouTube for the past several years is that these niggas always make up to break up ass nigga. Make up to break up. That's all they do. They make up to break up ass niggas. I done saw Hassan Campbell go live the other day talking about some year five God. Yeah, he he's a he's a real one. He's my number one co-sign. He ain't never disrespect me. He never made fun of me being died and never made fun of me being molested. And if y'all see my upload, I uploaded a video and said, nigga. Mm -mm. Nah, that's not true, nigga. Nigga, Five God used to violate you in his music talking about how you was bent over for, for Africa being bothered. These are facts. When a nigga never, ever, ever sat up there and made fun of me being molested. That's the difference between grown men. Grown men don't like protecting pedophiles. Five God had daughters. Yeah, we had some ugly shit happen. And shit behind the scenes, y'all wouldn't even understand. But the difference is, zip. Up. All right, he said five guy never made fun of him being molested. That's not true. That is not true. I'm going to prove to y'all right now that's not true. Y'all ready for it? Here we go, right here. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to this. Bodies on mothers. When you was 13, your father figure was your lover. You damn right, I never did the shit that you did. You got 15, I only got two kids. You was trying to make every bitch wifey that you slid. I know your other son more than you ever did. Talk about you teach your son not to kill mine. I see you with one of your sons one time. Talking reckless at the same time, alerting one time. You basically saying if it's like you dropping down. Talk about KK Mons, you a bozo. Four hour lie about me sounding like a homo. Make it sound like I was fucking you or something. No homo. Blicky on the box, so tag on the bozo. Shit of Jim Jones, Jay Wright, and Jojo. I had to spend math half a shit twice for you to go go. Thanks for the promo. But all that shit you talking out your mouth, that's a no no. I bow down to no nigga, ask for no photo. When I be round lit, niggas still be moving dolo. And all I get is stoto. Bitches know about never still trying to be the chocho. They say shit on the zombie, so they trying to give me throat throw. Never try to want to be the pilot, I'm the coach coach. Got bent over by a damn again, stroke. Oh, that's what we so these niggas make up to break up. I don't know if it's real or not, to be honest with y'all, y'all. And y'all might think I'm in the play. I promise you I'm not in the play. If I was in the play, trust me, my numbers would be bigger than what it is right now. If I was in their play, alleged, if I was in their alleged play, because I don't know if it's a play or not. Because to me, this shit sounds too, this shit sounds too fake to me. I don't know if, if, if they are in cahoots with each other and, and he's taking this lashing for, for whatever reason to build up zip with the drip or not, but it doesn't make sense, especially since Hassan is not even monetized now for him to continue to entertain and respond to zip with the drip. Somebody say, yo, man, you tripping now, nah, you bugging. I don't know, my nigga. I don't know. Niggas ain't come to me with no contract. Niggas ain't come to Main and Milkman and say, nigga, get down or lay down. Nigga, niggas ain't... So as I look at the bigger picture, as I look at the bigger picture, solely on the fact that Hassan has almost a half a million subscribers and he keeps putting Zip with the drip name in the title, I think Zip is, Zip is, Zip is, Zip is winning. I'm sorry. Fuck it. I said. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what's on my mind. Remember how I told y'all earlier it's unfortunate that these content creators will respond to people disrespecting him and they won't and they will promote the people that disrespect him more than the people that support him. Anybody that knows behind the bar knows that I'm a big Hassan Campbell supporter and I've been going to war. They say some, some, I've been going to war with some of these big niggas that, that I felt as though that was in a sense bullying and, and disrespecting him and shit like that. And yeah, man, I, I had his back for mad wars, my nigga. How many times you see this nigga have me, have me ever on his platform? Not one time have I been on his platform. Not one time. Not one time has he made a video saluting behind the bar, put my name in the title. Not one time. But I never complained about it. So that's why, and I, and there's a reason why I'm saying this. I say that to say this. The reason why Hassan Campbell has so many people on the internet attacking him is because they know that if they attack him, there's a small possibility that he may respond and he will blow up their YouTube channel. This is facts. <laughs> Salute to Sonny, Sonny Blanco. Sonny Blanco, man, I was watching um, um, Blow Dollars Network. Shout out to Blow Dollars Network. I was over there listening to the show yesterday. And just listen, I didn't even type in the chat. 
and Sonny Blanco hit the link and he just randomly said my name and, and I, I usually when people say my name is usually from a point of hate but he said my name without nobody even saying my name and because they was giving credit to all the YouTubers on this particular sector that make content and people that they should they, that they should support and Sonny Blanco hit the link and the first name he said was behind the bar and it shocked the shit out of me I said damn that's what's up Shout out to even Mikey B. I see Mikey B when I he he be shouting me out too as well. Shout out to Mikey B. But my man um Sonny Blanco hit the link and said, "Yo, y'all gotta watch behind the bar. That nigga's the truth." And this, I mean, I I make him tell it, and I appreciate you, Sonny Blanco, if you're still listening. I appreciate this. Real hey, yeah, but you was calling names out, Smitty. Shout out that nigga behind the bar. That nigga put work in. B. That's a funny nigga, B. Oh, behind the bar. Actually, I actually been watching behind the bar. Boy, put work in, boy. Been working. He be he be talking his shit about people. I, got, I gotta check him out. But I gotta say, he's getting his views and he's working, and his views is up from. He's not just sitting around getting bullshit views. By nah, him. this nigga, he got he got like a little a little system systematic shit with it. Cause like the nigga be like. His what? cash apps be popping because the nigga be like, yo, $5 shots. Whoever sent cash apps, $5 or okay. better, I'm taking shots. Yo, you want to see these memes? I got 20 memes. Whoever sent $5 or better, I'm putting oh, out memes okay. doing like one. Check them out. Yeah, yeah, nigga be behind the board doing his thing. Some be putting in work. I salute those that put in work regardless, no of, who, regardless of who you rock with. If you putting in work, you putting in work. That made, that made me that that made me feel proud. I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? Cause you know, it's it's really hard for people on this side of YouTube to actually, you know what I mean, put respect on on, on content creators' names that work hard, man. So shout, shout out to Sonny Blanco, man. I appreciate you uh for giving me the acknowledgement, man. It threw me off guard. That's why I had to hit the link after that. I said, damn, man, thank you for saying that shit. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not gonna lie, man. It gets very discouraging sometimes, man, when you making content and you trying your best to entertain your your audience and grow your channel, and you don't see kind of like the traction that you feel as though you deserve. And I see a lot of people getting frustrated, like, damn, man, I'm putting in this work, and I'm not really getting the traction I deserve and shit like that, man. But salute to him for saying that, and um, it is what it is, man. So listen, y'all, I am approximately. Hold on, let me see something real quick. I am approximately. Oh, okay. I am 14 subscribers away from 11,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, I am 14,000 subscribers away from 11,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see if we can make this happen right now on Behind the Bar. Before we end this live today, I'm only 21 minutes in. Before I end this live today, let's see if we can get the Behind the Bar to 11,000 subscribers by tonight. Let's get it popping. We're gonna have fun. I heard my cash app going off. Salute to um D Nice in the live chat. He he set it off early with the cash app. That's what I'm talking about. Cause you know, when I when I drink on my show, when I drink, that's when the show gets more entertaining. Cause I'm sober as a motherfucker right now. I'm sober as a motherfucker. So Davion sent in a cash app and he says, well, he didn't say nothing in the cash app, but I'ma say it for you. He wants me. To turn up, goddamn it! Let's go, let's go. Party rock album in stores July seventh, bitches. Uh